Okay, is yoga violent? Well, surprisingly, um, yoga as it's often practiced, modern posture yoga, uh, is surprisingly violent. So what, what do I mean by that? Well, um, people are often asked to follow a, a series of postures quite um, strictly uh, or do things to account. So that, of course, we need some structure to learn any kind of body art. However, it's often to a degree where people are ignoring their own bodies. Um, they're ignoring their own body's messaging, tell them to stop. Um, particularly if you imagine, um, say, hot yoga or very intense kinds of yoga, the stimulus from the muscles are absolutely screaming, but you're being told, no, stay in this posture, stay in this position. Um, often there's a kind of lip service to listen to your body, um, but actually the whole kind of cultural way behind it is don't listen to your body, is to conform. So in this way, we can see yoga as um, often, not always, but often as a practice of conformity. Um, I mean, more kind of sinister than that, perhaps, as well. Uh, yoga is really coming from this Eastern guru tradition where the guru knows best. So the guru knows better than you do about you and your body. Um, we see this in the nine out of ten yoga classes I go to. and I've, I've been to quite a few around the world on my travels around Western Europe, all over the UK. Um, teachers will adjust students without permission. They will take, uh, they take that liberty to say, I will touch your body. And it's, that's actually quite strange. In most situations in life, that would be regarded as uh, violent or at least sort of socially weird and inappropriate. Um, of course, yes, there's a context of a yoga class, but that doesn't mean we give permission for, uh, for any kind of adjustments the teacher wants. So for me to not respect a person's right over their own body, uh, that is deeply violent and um, uh, combined with the factors of conformity and often the factors of not really deeply listening to one's body and respecting one's body in that way. Um, a lot of yoga that I see is really what I'd call dissociative. It's teaching people not to feel themselves but to respect in authority instead. Uh, that to me is worrying. So um, I know this may be a little controversial, but I would regard a lot of modern posture yoga as violent.